Roman, not to bury the lead, let's go uh, take us through that 75-yard touchdown run. Uh, the play call, what happened, how it uh, was executed. Uh, you know, it's just a simple play that we work all day, all, all week in practice, and, you know, it was the perfect time to run it in the game. We saw the front that we wanted, and, you know, I just came through the mesh, and uh, the linemen got their blocks, the wide receivers worked to the secondary to get their blocks, and I just had to run and, you know, beat two people, and I was able to, you know, outrun their angles that they had on me to score a touchdown. 69 yards rushing for you guys in the first half, 188 after halftime. Even taking away your run, you guys were able to get it done. What was the difference? Uh, I feel like we, you know, just, you know, getting the swing of things and we kind of found our groove and we knew that running the ball was going to be uh, very important to getting the win. And, you know, it came through when we needed it the most down that uh, homecoming stretch. Were you aware of Littleton's injury and did he see it know that you were going to get more touches? Uh, you know, we, we I didn't really uh, see everything that happened, but, I, you know, they came to me and let me know that he was a little banged up and he was still ready to go if he needed him. But, you know, uh, we felt that we could, you know, win without him. If we needed him, he was going to be able to play. But, uh, you know, it didn't work out that way and we were able to get it done. That, that groove that you talked about that you hit at Indiana and then you hit for the second half of this game, can you talk about what that feels like and how you can how you guys can make that happen again? Um, I feel like it's just, you know, seeing the looks early in the game and we're making a little minor mistakes and things like that, but we get it polished up and then and, and halftime break and we come back out and we kind of know what we got to do and we just execute it. That's all it really is. When you've got a quarterback starting for the first time, do you feel like you doing your job as a running back can almost take pressure off of him in a way? Oh, uh, you know, it's a big puzzle piece, you know, our team and we all work together. So, you know, even though Billy, we have the utmost confidence in him, is just doing our job at the end of the day. So uh, I feel like when he's clicking and I'm clicking, we're going to have success. When the wide receivers are clicking, we're going to have success. So it was just one of those things where I knew if I did my part, it was going to make his job easier. And if he did his part, it was going to make my job easier, which we were able to see today. You've had uh, set your career high in carries and back-to-back -back weeks. How are you liking the extra workload? Uh, you know, it's just when your number's called, being ready. Um, you know, I, I can't really, um, you know, I can't really – determine how many carries I get in the game. But, you know, with, uh, what I do with those carries is, you know, all on me. So uh, pretty much just taking advantage of every opportunity that I get. And, you know, as the increasing opportunities come, I just got to be grateful and, you know, do my best to help this team win. To win, to become bowl eligible, to have a heck of a game like you had, I mean, you got to feel pretty happy with all that. Just that how, do you feel this big sense of accomplishment today, personally, and for you guys as a group? Uh, you know, being bowl eligible is something that we have as a goal, but we still got a lot of goals left. Um, you know, going into this bye week, we got to polish some things up, and we still got a, a, a lot more games to win. So we're going to get back to the drawing board and, and, and see where the chips fall. Roman, how important was it with some shifts on the offensive line to get blocking from guys like Corey and uh, Rakim help spring that that 75 yarder for you? Uh, you know, they they bust their butt every day in practice to make sure that they you know block as well as they can for us. So. It's a routine type of thing, but you know when we're clicking and, and you're able to see that type of play, you kind of put all the pieces together. And it's nothing really special. Uh, they really work really hard to make sure that they open up holes for us and get to that second level. So it was just kind of cool to see it all come together and in, in, in that time of the game. I don't know, I believe you're now on pace for over a thousand rushing yards this year. You've talked about how that goal is important to you in the offensive line. Can you talk about that a little bit and just how important the run game has been in the big picture this season? Uh, you know, uh, the offensive line, they do a, a great job opening up holes. And most of the time, it's just me, you know, finding the right hole and running through it and everything like that. But, you know, to have a thousand yard rusher is something, you know, a goal that we have set as an offense, you know, and uh, we're well on our way. But, you know, it's a lot of things that we can get cleaned up and we're going to, you know, do everything we can to get that done. On that play, when when you're going onto the field with three minutes to go and the game's tied as an offense, mm -hmm. what, what is the feeling in, in that moment? Uh, we just want to drive down the field and win. Um, you know, we had a lot of drives during the season where our back was against the wall and we came through, and I feel like that was another way of us persevering and getting the job done. Uh, it wasn't pretty, but uh, down the stretch when we needed a big play, we were able to get it done, and that's something that we can't look, you know, look past as an offense and as a team. That last drive for you guys in the first half, you're down 10, you guys have the ball for over four minutes, you don't get a touchdown, but you put points on the board, low momentum going into halftime. How important was that possession? Uh, that possession was very important. Um, you know, obviously we wanted to get a touchdown, but we came away with points. And, you know, at the end of the day, uh, if you look at the score, if we didn't get those points, it would have been a different game coming down the stretch. So um, it was important for us to get points on the board. And uh, even though we wanted a touchdown, a field goal helped us out in the grand scheme of things. So I'm appreciative of that. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.